Okay, here's a strumming exercise has uh, maybe a little bit more complexity than the others that I've put up so far. Um, I think the first thing to do is to talk about the chords. So it's going to be E minor 7 to D over F sharp. to G, 5, to C major, G5, to D5. <laughs> I'll go over it. Okay, so once again, that's E minor 7 to D over F sharp to G5 to C major to G5 to D5. And I will also probably have a couple of uh, two or three videos, really short videos that kind of... Um, show the difference between, say, for instance, the G major that you're used to and the G5 in this chord progression. Or, for instance, the D major that you're used to and the D5 in this chord progression. As well as maybe a video uh, showing the difference between the E minor 7 and a regular E minor. Okay, just take it one chord at a time real quick though. E minor 7, index finger, fret 2, string 4, ring finger, fret 3, string 2. String six is open, string four is open, string one is open. String five, hopefully, is muted by probably the top of your thumb, uh, top of your fingernail of the index finger. Anyway, there's the E minor seven. Some of you are already familiar with the D over F sharp, but here it is. Index finger, fret 2, string 6. Middle finger, fret 2, string 3. Ring finger, fret 3, string 2. And I'm going to block out string five with a little bit of the underside of the index finger. And trying to block out string one also either with this side of the index or sometimes the underside of the ring. Okay, there it is. on to the G5. Here's the thing. A G5, it, okay, there's more than one way to play a G5, but in this case, in this chord progression, think of the G5 as the normal G major you already know. You just take away the index on string 5 and the pinky on string 1. Now here's the catch. You cannot play those two strings. Again, they need to be blocked out. String five needs to be blocked out <coughs> with the underside of the middle finger, right there. And again, string one is probably blocked out 
by the underside of the ring finger. Or sometimes, you know, the index finger kind of laying down a little bit on the string right there. Next chord in the progression is C major. That's just normal. Ring finger, fret three, string five. Middle finger, fret two, string four. Open string three. Index finger, fret one, string two. Open string one. Okay, the next chord in the progression goes back to the G5. We already talked about that. The last chord in the progression is a D5. Think of a D5 as exactly like a D major. You just take away the middle finger. So, open string four. Index finger, fret two, string three. Ring finger, fret three string two and again you want that first string blocked out otherwise it turns into a completely different chord there it is okay the strum pattern actually i think this video is going to turn out to be longer than i expected but uh here it is strum pattern Again, the progression, the chord progression is E minor 7, D over F sharp, G5, C major, G5, D5. To the E minor 7. So you hit the open string 6 as a down. Just that one note, open string 6. Then you strum the rest of the chord down up, hopefully without string six. It's already ringing, so. String six, boom, down, up, rest of the chord. Okay? Now, <laughs> uh, here's where it gets a little more complicated. What's the next chord? D over F sharp. Recall, in D over F sharp, the index finger is now on fret two, string six. So from the E minor seven, it goes, hops from the E minor seven, fret two, string four, hops to fret two, string six and then you place the rest of the D over F sharp. Now here's what has to happen. The E minor seven was a down, down, up. Now, that low note, fret two string six of the D over F sharp gets hit first as a down, and then the rest of the D over F sharp by itself is a is an up. So here's the E minor seven into the D over F sharp. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Okay. Now, recall the chord progression is E minor 7 to D over F sharp to G5. We just did the E minor 7, just did the D over F sharp. Now we're into the G5. It's going to be also a down up. Bass note, string 6, as a down, and then the up on the rest of the chord. So here's the E minor 7 to D over F sharp to G5. Okay, I totally said that wrong. The G5 is a single down. Forget what I said before. 
Here's the chord progression so far. E minor 7 to D over F sharp to G5. Down, down, up, down, up, down. to the C major, which is the next chord. Okay, I had to remember how I do it. Okay, the C major is down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Now, the next chord after the C major is the G5. This is the one where you will hit the bass note on string six of the G5 as a down and then do an up on the rest of the chord. So here's from the C major into the G5. So C major. Down, down, up, up, down, G5, down, up. Now, the last chord of this complex chord progression, the D5, is just one sing single down. So, you just got through doing the C major, the G5, now we're on to the D5. The C major was a down, down, up, up, down. The G5 was a down, up, and now the D5 is a down. Here's from the C major to the G5 to the D5. Okay, I'm going to do the whole chord progression here. Hopefully I do it right. Here it goes again. Down, down, up, down, up. So actually, just as a side note, uh, this is uh, I was working on this. This is actually a song called Shallow. Um, actually, my modification of it, sort of. Uh, but it's a song called Shallow uh, by Lady Gaga and some other guy out of a, a movie that she did, I think, called A Star is Born. I was, I was doing this song for another student that wanted to do that song. And anyway, this is kind of the strum pattern. Well, this is the strum pattern we're using during the verse so if you kind of want to get another kind of idea of how this kind of sort of grooves and kind of feels you know check it out all right hopefully that uh, uh uh makes some sense okay all right see you later